<laughs> you being an asshole. He totally is. My cat's being an asshole. My name is Brendan McLean, and I'm a part of the Sydney Canvas Project. There's my cat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brendan McLean. I'm a musician and a presenter at Triple J. I play the ukulele and piano, and this is my cup of tea. The way I started in music was was probably through. Um, actually, started when I was a dancer, and you know I saw I was, I was dancing, and I started watching acting. When I was acting, I watched musical theatre. And I started doing musical theatre and then that's how I went into to singing my own stuff. I was a pretty crappy po poetry writer and so I, I sort of figured out if I, if I could sing the poetry then people would listen and, and so then I just added music to that. So it was a slow progression that, that started with me being a ballerina and ended up in music. I'm having a lot of fun right now playing the Oxford Art Factory Free Room. It's, it's a blast and it's free and that's awesome. Uh, I'm also having a lot of fun playing at this, this Camelot's place, which I, I, I hadn't discovered till recently. I didn't realise until halfway through my set that there were camels everywhere. And I was like, why are there camels everywhere? And then I went, ah, oh, Camelot's, lots of camels. And the whole audience groaned for about five minutes, which I love. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, obviously I'd love to play at Sydney Opera House. Uh, I've sung there as a five-year-old, but I don't think that counts. And um, after seeing Rufus playing the State Theatre, I think um, maybe that should be my, my new goal. So hopefully Brendan McLean at the State Theatre can come up in a gig lineup very soon. Any one person I could, I could think to kill right now, it, it would probably be, be the... Um, most of the American Republican Party. I think they, they could count as one collective person. And also um, the, the guys who, who produced Rebecca Black's Friday. He could probably go as well. Like, the worst part of it is him rapping in, in the car. Like, why is he doing that? I, I don't know if he needs to be alive anymore. He probably doesn't. He probably, he could probably go. Find out his name. You really do have to work hard not to be a wanker when, when you're a musician. Because when people ask you questions and it's all about you and you know you spend the day answering questions about yourself, you get really narcissistic and think you're interesting, which is a real worry when you're not. I think music is one of the easiest ways to communicate with people. Um, and then on a selfish side, you really can sit at home and, and make music. Um, I, I, I never came home and acted <laughs> for myself and just, you know, got really sad in a corner. Um, but with music, you know, I, I'm really happy to come home from, from work and just play and play whatever happens or, or make up a song or just write. So it's, it's good in both ways. It's for other people, but it's also for myself. I need to hold you close like a wartime gas mask And we the old Persian cats I can't make them
Next, Nicola Walkerton and her art of all shapes, sizes and colours. Pastel and stuff. It's, it's very free. 